if I was untruthful and deceitful, I could edit this in such a way where you would think, Maddie has found the most amazing campsite in the history of campsites. Look how secluded the place is. <laughs> well, actually, we are camping at a boat ramp. This is a wildlife management area near Clark Fork, Idaho. And uh, we're actually just parking in a parking lot. Kevin actually got a good spot down there in the shade tree. Here's the parking lot. <laughs> this place was loud and crowded just a little while ago. There was kids down there on the boat uh, dock playing music and had their four-wheelers out here and everything. But this is what we ended up with. We had to leave the other spot because the exhaust fumes got too much for me. I couldn't breathe. Everybody at that campground had a ATV or a motocross bike of some sort. There's my spot. And they had all modified the exhaust on every vehicle they had. And when you do that, not only do you make it loud and annoying, you also make it stink. You know, so the whole forest was just filled with fumes. And I couldn't take it anymore. I had to get out of there. Couldn't wait for the morning to come so I could pack up and leave. And it's a shame because the place was beautiful. But it just got packed in there with that one group, you know. Everybody else was cool. And um, that one group came in and just uh, revved their engines and roared around the camp loop. And I'm talking about the loop for the campsites, you know, where you're supposed to just do five miles an hour. And, you know, it's for walking and bike riding and stuff like that most of the time. They just roared around that loop all day long. I bet they went around it 500 times. Just being complete a-holes, pretty much. So this is what we ended up with for the day. And uh, it'll give us time just to sit, get our bearings together, and think about, do we head on into Montana? What do we do? It's a nice spot, though. And I'm just over here on the side because, you know, if someone backs a boat in here, I want to give them plenty of room. Because some people aren't very good at backing boats. So with where I'm at, there should be no problem. So the sign over here says we can stay up to three nights. And there is another place just like this, 10 miles up the road. And it has a three night limit too. So that's an option that we'll keep in mind. So here's the entry road right here. You pull in, let me give you the pan around. So you can see just how big this parking lot is. It's, it's pretty huge. But uh, it'll do for the day and maybe tomorrow, but tomorrow's Friday. So I'm assuming on the weekend, this place is gonna pack out. And once again, we'll want to turn the key and move on. But this is a spot I've set up for today. I'm going to enjoy the day while it's quiet and enjoy tonight, hopefully. Maybe it won't be a party crowd coming in at midnight. And we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I think I'm going to start doing more of these videos. Because, um, you know, we keep it real here. We keep it honest. When we find a great quiet place, we tell you about it. And I think I'm gonna start telling you more about the places we find that aren't so great and quiet. I think it's only fair to do that. And I just think it's the right thing to do. It's a pretty lagoon here. There's a road over there that goes over that bridge, but they've got a gate on it, it's, it's closed down. I wonder if I could just pull into that road just back in there and just camp right there. If uh, an official came by and they need to pass through, I could just get out of the way, you know. I don't know. Something to think about. But this is uh, what we're doing for today. And we'll figure out where we go from here. Alright, let's just keep it short today. Take care, be well, and smash the bell. Mm -hmm.